Hi, I'm Audrey with Offsite Dirt, and we're here with Matt Bloomquist, who is actually a tradesman that now is a teacher at a high school. And also, you have a high school program, and you're doing new building practices, right? Yes. What are those building practices about? So, for me, it was all about building better. You know, knowing we could build better than in the energy sense. You know, like structure-wise, code-wise, we're always all in those. But you know, house that can perform better. So the, actually looking at the performance in the house and having high school students do that. So it's all about building science, and what attracted you into building science with students, especially? Well, at the time, I didn't really call it building science. Uh, like I said, it was it was building better uh, the idea, and then obviously I learned the term you know building science, and then what it all you know air sealing and insulation and continuous air insulation and all these terminology that kind of goes in. And then once you start learning about it, it's, you call it building science, but really it was just like high school physics. So it's actually an easy sell at the high school level because the kids are like, you know, we talk about, you know, thermal transfer or something like that. Like, oh yeah, we did that like last week in science class or even in math when we teach math, you know, like the fact that like, oh yeah, we, we know a square plus, you know, for us. It's a transfer of information yeah. that's already there. Yeah, so, and that's what I would say like with the trains, you know, we, we take all the classes and just have to put application to it. And so it kind of works out good with incorporating building science, not only building better and how it should be building, but it took what they're kind of learning in class and put it in a different example in a real world. Yeah. And I love how you say using your hands, right? Yeah. It's all about using your hands. So are you seeing more women or more young ladies getting into construction? Uh, we try. I, I have four stepdaughters and a daughter of my own. So I'm very much encouraging like the young ladies to get involved. And I was just having a discussion with somebody here in the audience about it. And she was asking the same thing because she had took like auto class, you know? And I... Ooh, it's a, it's very hard to like I think we're getting girls who are interested I think now we're getting to the point where the guys are pretty comfortable with the girls on the job site at least at the school like we've only had two girls and each time the girl has been the only girl in class but so I find we're tr you know I think the trick is going to be how do we make the girls feel comfortable being there with all the boys and I think that's probably the bigger challenge I would say and I mean I'm speaking as a guy so it's like there's only so much I can say trying, right? Right? Yes. it's about bringing them yes. in making them feel comfortable yeah. and I love this Thomas talked about using his hands right it's all about learning building and then having an amazing teacher to lead the way thank you Matt for all that you have done for our industry you're, you're a trailblazer and we're so proud of you thank you guys for all the support thank you for being here